Recently, Joe Biden gave a speech about these dastardly Republicans who are trying to suppress the vote, stop black people from voting. It's the same lie that was pushed by, among other people, Eric Holder. Eric Holder, by the way, gave a speech, the former AG under Obama, where he outlined three examples of pernicious racism. I'm gonna leave voter ID for the last one. The first one he said was that blacks who commit crimes similar to whites have longer sentences. And it's true. What he didn't tell you is that the U.S. Sentencing Commission says that the average black criminal has a longer criminal record than the average white criminal. And at the end of the conviction, a judge will take into consideration the number of convictions. And the U.S. Sentencing Commission said that the reason for blacks having longer sentences is because of legitimate reasons. The second so-called example of pernicious racism that former A.G. Holder came up with is that blacks are disproportionately expelled from school compared to whites. It's also true. Jesse Jackson, some years ago, sued the school board in Decatur, Illinois, because a bunch of black boys were expelled after fighting after a football game. Jackson accused the school board of engaging in systemic racism, filed a lawsuit, and the school board pointed out that all around the country, irrespective of the racial composition of the school board, black boys were kicked out disproportionately. They were kicked out disproportionately in all white school boards. They were kicked out disproportionately in all school boards of color, like in Oakland. It turns out black boys were disproportionately misbehaving, which accounted for why they were kicked out. By the way, the judge threw out the Decatur lawsuit. This brings us to voter ID. Eric Holder referred to voter ID as racist. Specifically, he said the following. This was in 2014. Quote, over the last few weeks and months, we've seen occasional jarring reminders of the discrimination and the isolated, repugnant, racist views that in some places have yet to be overcome. One of those examples, he says, was the move on the part of many communities for voter ID. And former AG Loretta Lynch echoed the thought. She said the push for voter ID laws was to, quote, screw the African-American voter, end of quote. And Joe Biden told Al Sharpton that Republicans don't want black people voting, man. Look, guess what these guys are all about, man. Yeah. Man. These Republicans don't want working class people voting. They don't want black folks voting. And Elizabeth Warren weighed in, denouncing, quote, racist voter ID laws and voter suppression tactics, end of quote. Now, if racist voter ID laws suppress the black vote, riddle me this. Why in 2008, when Obama ran, did blacks as a percentage of eligible voters vote in greater numbers than did whites? I thought they were being suppressed. And if you look at voting percentages from 2016 to 2020, the percentage of eligible Hispanic voters who voted exceeded the percentage of eligible Hispanic voters who voted in 2016. Ditto with black voters, ditto with Asian American voters. So if the voter suppression laws are designed to suppress the vote of people of color, they ain't working. And regarding voter ID, a 2016 Gallup poll found that 77% of non-whites supported voter ID, as opposed to 81% of whites. Not all that different. And then there was this wide study that purported to show that voter ID laws suppress black and brown turnout. There was a follow-up study by researchers from Yale, Stanford, and University of Pennsylvania, where Biden's granddaughter goes. And they said, if you look at the data of the first study, it was flawed. If you look at the data properly, you can't find one way or the other whether or not these so-called voter suppression laws have any effect one way or the other. In other words, we don't know what kind of effect they have at all. It could be a little bit, maybe some, maybe none. We just don't know. Whatever it is, you can't measure it. So bottom line, blacks support voter ID. Bottom line, somehow, some way, blacks were able to obtain ID. Everybody that I know have ID. Like, that's one of the things you need to walk around with New York with, ID. Do you know any black adult who does not have ID? No, I don't. Is it a weird thing to even say that? Yes, it is. What is this, some, some type of uh, trick candy camera? I like know, that? right? <laughs> that's the only thing I brought with me. Those are legit, no. legit IDs. I heard a lot also that uh, black people can't figure out how to get to the DMV. Really? Is that, is that, what does that say to you? I know it's that, on 25th Street. Do you know where the ID, the, the DMV is around you? It's on 125th Street and 3rd Avenue, I believe. You know how to get there? Yeah. Did you have a problem getting there if you had to get there? No. It's, I know these sound like silly questions. You know how to get the AV? Of course. You know where it is? Yes. You can get there? Uh-huh. No problem. No problem. Just checking. Okay. 
So somehow, some way, black people are able to figure out how to vote. The vote is not being suppressed. And yeah, black people know the way to the DMV. <laughs> I'm Larry Elder, and this has been the Larry Elder Show for Epic Times. I will see you next time. Larry Elder here, and I've got some great news for you. If you're tired of the censorship in this country, then you're in luck. You can go over to EpicTV.com and watch honest programs that don't spin the facts. EpicTV.com is a brand new, no censorship video platform where you can watch not only my show, but other deep documentaries, great program, wholesome movies that you can watch with your entire family. So head over to EpicTV.com. I'll see you there.